There are several recipient verification methods available with Protected Trust. In the first example, I'll show you the recipient verification process for registered credentials. The sender chooses registered credentials. If this option is not available, it means that the recipient is not yet a registered Protected Trust user. The sender then clicks Send Now. The recipient receives a notification email and opens the protected message. Since the sender of this message selected Registered Credentials, the recipient must enter his Protected Trust password and click Sign In to view the message. In the second example, I'll show you the recipient verification process for phone verification. The sender chooses phone verification and enters the recipient's phone number and clicks Send Now. The recipient receives a notification email and opens the protected message. Since the sender of this message selected phone verification, the recipient must click either send me a text message or call me. In this example, the recipient clicks call me and receives a phone call with the verification code. Your four digit verification code is 7173. Enters it in the box and clicks continue to view the message. In the third example, I'll show you the recipient verification process for Shared Secret. The sender chooses Shared Secret. For the question, the sender selects what is your account number and enters the recipient's account number as the answer. He then clicks Send Now. The recipient receives a notification email and opens the protected message. Since the sender of this message selected Shared Secret, the recipient enters his account number and clicks Continue to view the message. Thanks for watching.